away from the big frantic city of London, 79 miles in the quiet seaside place in Ramsgate, the story begins. Pope Gregory notices some Anglo-Saxon children sold as slaves in Rome's marketplace and is inspired to send St. Augustine and bring Christianity to England. Ramsgate is where St. Augustine landed and converted King Ethelbert and his court to Christianity in the year 597 AD. St. Augustine's church which was built in the 18th century after the Reformation by Augustus Pugin, who also built Westminster Palace or Houses of Parliament. Every year, thousands of pilgrims visit this place to venerate the relics of St. Augustine. And just opposite the church is St. Augustine's Abbey, which was built by Edward Pugin, son of Augustus Pugin, in the year 1856. This is a former Benedictine Abbey until 2013 and was bought by the Vincentian Congregation of Divine Retreat Center from Kerala in India, who believe that God is using this place to re-evangelize Britain again. We will be speaking to Father George Panagal and Father Joseph Edatu, who will give us the details about the mission in the UK. Of love, but from now onwards, you are standing under the perfection of love. Praise God. Praise God. Father George Panagal is one of the leading priests in the Divine Retreat Center and is currently leading director for the Divine Retreat Center in the UK. The Divine Retreat Center belongs to Vincentian Congregation. Uh, it started in uh, the Divine Vincentian Congregation started in India, Kerala, in 1904. And the main charism of the Vincentian Congregation is preaching the Word of God to the different parishes. I mean, the one of the most famous ministry that we do is popular mission retreats that are conducted in different parishes, where the whole 99 percentage of the uh, attendance of the parishioners are assured through the retreat that is called popular mission retreat and they bought one uh, hospital called divine hospital and this divine hospital later became divine retreat center and all the rooms where the sick people were laying down for the in the hospital were used as the rooms for the retreatants and they started receiving physical spiritual mental whole healing. In 2013, uh, somebody told about this abbey which was kept for sale and uh, uh, which is very old, almost 200 years old building and the big building with so many rooms and capacities where we can have retreats and accommodate many people and have retreats. So uh, Father was informed, Father Augustine was informed about the center and then Father came and saw this place and he was so happy and then he informed the people and then we collected loans from the people. There were so many hundreds of people who voluntarily came forward, offered their loans so that we can buy this land. This is where the first Holy Mass was celebrated. This is where the first baptism took place. This is where the first preaching was uh, done. Uh, we were not so uh, aware of all these things. This is where St. Augustine came and landed. This was a plan of God to start our retreat center here to re-evangelize the whole UK and also the whole Europe because the re-evangelization has to start from the same place where everything started and everything planted. So uh, in one way we can say it was it's also the power of intercession of St. Augustine. Just across this road you can see St. Augustine shrine uh, where the only uh, remaining relics of St. Augustine is also kept here. So the residential retreat means uh, our retreat can, uh, is a uh, retreat lasts for three days. More, more normally, in the ordinary cases, our retreats are from Friday to Sunday. Friday morning, 8.30, it starts until Sunday evening. Uh, five o'clock. Rooms for accommodation. Um, some are ensued and some are not, com with common bathrooms. And we have adoration chapel where the Blessed Sacrament is exposed 24 hours. 
We have a small chapel where people can sit and pray. We have an auditorium where people can attend the services and uh, listen to the word of God. And uh, we have a beautiful compound of four acres of land. It's a blessing to be here and attend the retreat. So the first time when we conducted a retreat, almost 12 people were there. 12, just like the first disciples, 12. So um, there is booking facilities are available in our website, divineuk.org. There is online booking you know, facilities are there. And there are so many in these last three years, almost uh, uh, 20,000 people have attended a retreat already in these last three years. It's a blessings from the Lord, only by the grace of God it's possible. Every first Saturday of every month, there is a day retreat attended by people from all over England. The retreatants are provided with food and drinks, which are prepared and served by the volunteers. The centre is staffed by volunteers who come from all walks of life, from all ages and races. Most volunteers come to volunteer for a specific retreat and return home at the end of the retreat. A few live at the Abbey and are volunteering 24-7. There are many different ministries besides healing and preaching ministries. These are music, children, intercession and youth ministries. The peace, love and closeness of God can be felt in the adoration room. Enter the chapel and feel the peace and presence of the Holy Spirit. You will just want to sit down to praise, acknowledge and thank God. A community working together and enjoying life in the presence of God individuals and families. Life has been touched and changed. St. Augustine's legacy to bring Christ to the people of England. St. Augustine came to England and brought Christianity to the people of England. Augustus Pugin built the church and the abbey. Father Augustine Walluria came to Ramsbury and through him, St. Augustine's Abbey is purchased. The story continues. This is not the end, but the beginning of the re-evangelization of Great Britain. The legacy continues through Divine Retreat Centre, UK.